the houses of Star Wars. Coronavirus! Coronavirus! <laughs> Now you're probably very confused on where that footage was shot. Now, my old roommate, Pirate Lord Ben. <laughs> Do you want it? Yeah, go for it. Is currently living and working in Ireland. He works for... And he's working on a bunch of different projects like Project... I, I can't say any of this stuff, can I? No. So Ben now drives a motorcycle, which I think is great, and he's been updating me with all his little adventures he's been going on. He went on one of the coolest ones ever. We're gonna show you that a little bit later in the video. But first, uh, a couple weekends ago, Alice and I went on a little trip to go visit her parents. We brought beans with us. It was his first time really seeing the ocean. He was super excited about it. And you know, I convinced Allison to stop at some of those tourist traps. We saw an ad for like a 14 foot long gator and I was really excited. It, it ended up being at the official Florida Welcome Center and it was just a taxidermy 14 foot gator. Yeah. And of course we stopped off at one of those sketchy little antique malls. And I love antique malls. You never know what you're gonna find. There's so many creepy and interesting things to look at. But I swear, every time I go visit one of those antique malls, I feel like there's so many haunted objects in there that the ghost is gonna follow me home. And for some reason, there's always like a giant large section of those romantic novels. I don't know why, but I did find a shrine to Jar Jar Binks. So after about six hours, uh, Allison wanted to take me to like her favorite place to eat in the entire world, Whataburger. And it went a little something like this. Okay, we are here at Whataburger. Allison is from Texas. She's currently wearing a Whataburger t-shirt. <laughs> I've never had Whataburger. She says this is the best thing since sliced bread. Oh, there's a man, he just... His booty showing. Don't okay. film it, he sees you. The man from Arkansas in front of us just got out of his car, he grabbed the cooler out of the back and just uh, grabbed the bottle of Jaeger and uh, cheers to me and now he's driving with the bottle of Jaeger. It's just sitting in, in his uh, cup holder, right? We're open 24-7. This burger must be good because we've we've moved like one car in like 10 minutes. We're on our way to Dustin. Destin. Destin? Destin. Dest or Destiny. I think I'm gonna go with a uh, bacon cheeseburger. Can't go wrong with that. And a Dr. Pepper milkshake. With the Fast and the Furious ride closing, I'm glad that Dom and the fam have opened a fast food restaurant now. They have all sorts of warning signs on the door. I wonder what's the backstory behind that doormat right there. Like, what happened in his life that he is no longer working as a doormat? He's just, you know, just sleeping on the sidewalk. Why is it called Whataburger? No. Okay, but let me let me do some research. Let's find out why they call it Whataburger. Over six de decades ago, a adventurous and determined Harmon Dobson had a bold idea to serve a burger so big that it took two hands to hold, and so good that after a single bite, customers couldn't help but explain what a burger. Oh, we're moving. We're moving. We are next in line. Mr. Jaeger is ordering right now in front of us. Welcome to Whataburger, the home of your all-time favorites. My name is Steve, to give us a whole moment, we'll be right with you. I think I'm gonna get the double bacon cheeseburger meal. No tomato, no pickle. Yes, ma'am. We got our bag. First off, let's try this Dr. Pepper shake. It's like a hint of Dr. Pepper, kind of underwhelming. It just tastes like a vanilla shake with like, they just like spritzed a little bit of Dr. Pepper in there. We got the fries. They look kind of like McDonald's French fries. Oh, I, I, I like on the back, it says, when I'm empty, please dispose of me properly. This is like what you want from a fry that looks like this. This is good. It's time for the burger. All right, I got a bacon cheeseburger, no pickles, because pickles are gross. Huh. Wow. 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 Oh my God, this is a big burger. This is probably two pounds. This is, <laughs> this is like five patties from five guys put together. I will say this is better than In-N-Out, better than McDonald's, Burger King. This might be one of the best like fast food burgers I've ever had. Now, guys, I gotta say it, the hype is real for Whataburger. And my favorite part was honestly the ketchup. I heard you can go to the store and buy like a bottle of it. I think that's what I'm gonna do, it's that good. After a long drive, then we finally made it to Dustin. Dustin, Dustin, I, I'm always gonna get it confused, I feel like. Now, this was my first time venturing out of the Orlando bubble. So we stayed at a Hilton hotel, it was right across from the beach. It was interesting to see what safety measures they had in place, because we know how Disney and Universal have been handling their safety measures. They're really known for like their continental breakfasts, so it was interesting to see how they're gonna manage that. Social distancing going up 
up and you got like a little to-go box with food. So there was no longer that like buffet of getting stuff. Now it was time to go to the beach and hang out for a little bit. Now when it comes to Florida beaches, I, people have a lot of questions. So this is what I saw, okay. Was the beach busy? Yes. It wasn't slammed, but it wasn't empty. Did every single person practice safe social distancing? Yes, I think the closest person to us was probably like 30 feet away. Now, personally, I did feel safe. You're outside. People are near you, but they are very far away from you. I will say this is one of the nicest beaches I have ever been to. You're almost there. Looks more like a blanket than a raft right now. I went in the ocean with my phone. Yeah. Night. Oh. My phone was in my pocket for about an hour in the ocean. Um, I lost everything. Like three years of footage and photos. I guess it was never backed up to the iCloud. I'm sorry, there was a lot of like vlogs and when I meet you guys in the park, I always ask you guys like to say something funny for the videos. Most of the time I capture it on the iPhone to use later in a video. Uh, so I'm sorry if you have met me the past three years. It all got erased. But if you see me again, come up and say hi and I will put you in the video. But to cheer me up, Allison's parents took me to uh, the surf hut. I had an amazing drink there. Some like crab dip, some fish tacos. But my favorite place that we ate was at the uh, Marina Cafe. Now this place kind of looked like a church, but they had one of the best steaks I've had in a very long time. And I did see this father. I'm pretty sure that's not how you're supposed to hold your kids right next to the water like that. Now I love the little tacky like surf junk stores at the beach. That was always my favorite part when my mom would take my sister and I to the beach. So their like name brand surf junk store is called Alvin's Island and the mannequins, I guess there's a large slender man population. And like not one mannequin was like that. All of the mannequins were like that and they were all very terrifying. But my favorite part is always looking at just all of the useless crap that they have for you to purchase. Like, when are you ever gonna need draft beer jelly beans? If you've ever wanted to eat the insides of a gator, it, apparently it tastes like saltwater taffy. Now the billboard for the store, it said, turn here for a free beach bag. Yeah, the free beach bag was just the little plastic bag, not an actual beach bag. I had a really fun time on that trip now for the moment we've all been waiting for the footage that Ben sent me. Ben went to go visit around the area where they filmed The Last Jedi. And let me tell you, it was breathtaking. I'm just gonna keep like filming these clips because it's just like amazing. Like seriously though, this place is hard to capture. Where are we, Carrie? Barack Obama Plaza. Barack Obama Plaza! Yeah, that's right. For some reason, here in the Republic of Ireland, there is a statue of a former US president, Barack Obama. So you probably have many questions. Why is there Barack Obama Plaza in Ireland? Uh, ben told me, I guess some of Obama's relatives were from that part of Ireland, so they built that incredible statue and created Obama Plaza. Now, when it came to where they filmed parts of The Last Jedi and the ending of Force Awakens in Ireland, they filmed it at multiple different areas. Now, the island you're probably thinking of where Luke was living, uh, the island is called Skellig Michael. There were like 10 or 12 monks that used to live there like a thousand years ago. So when they were filming The Last Jedi, they actually only had a couple days to actually shoot there because it's very hard to even get there. So what they did, they built a lot of the sets around 
the coast of Ireland, so that's kind of where Ben was visiting. But eventually I would love to go visit there one day and bring little beans and Allison, bring a lightsaber and just nerd out. Now let me know down in the comments some other locations you think Allison and I should go take beans. Now guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button because I will send you a personal notification every single time I post a new video. There'll be a new video on Thursday. Guys, I love you all. Please stay safe and I'll see you all very soon. So because Kevin wants this, we're doing it, although he'll never use this footage.